Hello, I'm joined today by Rain Zhang. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations Pleasure. to you and your co-authors on your work being cited as the Journal of Materials Research Paper of the Year. That's so exciting. Thank Fantastic. You. Yeah. So let's talk a little bit about the mm -hmm. paper. It deals with 3D printed micro trusses and how they could lead to stronger high temperature ceramics. Yeah. What are the implications of this? What industries could be affected by the application of your technique? Yeah. The, the major key, key work that we have done in this work is to enable additive manufacture of high temperature ceramic with micro scale resolutions, with micro scale features and complex topologies. And and this will uh, make new ways to make uh, high temperature materials with precision topologies and that can be used for a variety of applications in uh, aerospace, microelectronics, or even tissue engineering. Um, so these are the, the uh, areas that we envision this will impact on. Tell us a little bit about, mm -hmm. uh, or a little bit more about the work that is in the paper. Yeah, so the, the, the key work that we have done in this work is we figure out a way to process high temperature materials, especially the high temperature ceramic, to be able to, pre to possess precision micro scale structures, arbitrary topologies, and, and the way that it has been done before was in, you have to make a pre-ceramic slurry, you have to to injection molded or printed, what you end up have is these type of ceramic will have porosities, uh, defects, and they have coarse features and prevent them to be used in real applications. And we figure out a way to make high temperature material, especially high temperature ceramic, to possess these precision features. You can make this ceramic in the sh shape of a, a printed circuit boards, mm -hmm. or micro post arrays, or planetary gear, as we demonstrated in this, in this and, work. And so you have found a method to mm -hmm. boost the strength of these tiny structures. Mm -hmm. Is there still work to be done to understand why they work this way? Yeah, so we basically use a um, very classic materials theory of the smaller, the stronger size in fact to harness the strength of, in this type of ceramic. So um, to make this ceramic even higher strength, and we, the future work needs to be done in terms of making large quantity of these high temperature ceramic, have a better, faster way to process them, to screen these material and certify it. So in the end, at the end of the day, we're looking at printing hundreds, mm -hmm. thousands or millions of these ceramic micro lattice structures and test their strength and it can harness, you can see the nice trend of the smaller, stronger size effect that has not been demonstrated in high temperature materials. It's incredible. So what work still needs to be done to bring this work to a practical application? Yes, so we are working in um, two different ways. One way is to scale up, like I just mentioned, how do you come up with a method to, to um, introduce faster heat treatment uh, that allows you to heat treat hundreds of thousands of these ceramic to convert them into pure high temperature ceramic materials. So faster processing method, uh, scalable approach to make large quantity of them. And the other way we are looking at is to pack a lot of functionalities inside of these ceramic materials. Because if you go to high temperature space applications, uh, weight is not your friend. You want to have, be able to pack little material as possible, mm -hmm. but have as many functionalities as possible. So we are looking at how do you incorporate smart materials, smart functionalities inside of this material so that they can sense external environment, they can sense the, the stress distributions, pressures, incoming pressures, and then have a way to output these uh, impact information out of these materials themselves. So make them larger quantity, better features, smarter functionality is the way to go. Absolutely. Well, thank you very much and congratulations on your paper. That's fantastic. Thank you, my pleasure. Rain Zhang, we appreciate it. Thank you. MRS TV has all the coverage you want with the big newsmakers. Be sure to check out our content, which is updated each day here on YouTube from the 2019 MRS Spring Meeting here in Phoenix.